welcome 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 christina bong welcome hopefully more friends will be coming shortly it looked like a party on there like they tell you how many followers are active and we'll see who comes i am here hopefully you will be here too shortly for this glorious day 19 of the 30 days of reiki 30 castle andra i've not seen you in so long hello downward doe farm hello everybody welcome aloha i'm so glad y'all are here joining me on this day 19 of the 30 days of reiki 30 we are going into reiki for empaths filling filling let me get my props here so many prop, props filling our cups with vitality that is what we are doing today and my name is Taylor Norris. I am a Yusui Holy Fire 3 Karuna Reiki Master and a professional member of the International Center for Reiki Training. I am here. My intention with this series is to gift you an experience of the healing frequencies of Reiki energy to answer your questions like how am I? We'll be talking about that later on. <laughs> And how are you? You know, that that's a very important question we we can definitely talk about. But I'm here in this this series, which is on my IGTV, to answer questions about Reiki, to function as a bridge between you and Reiki, to give you a chance to resonate with Reiki and see if you want to go deeper. I offer online sessions at a distance, private, one-on-one. -on -one as well as Reiki classes. I have my Reiki 1 and 2 class, which is online. It is coming up in November. And that's going to be a very powerful experience right after our new moon. And I'm also teaching Reiki Master in December. Again, it's during a new moon solar eclipse. So really, really powerful times to be working with this energy um, because... I mean, hello, right? Like, whoa, <laughs> what's going on, you know? Um, and in my experience, Reiki is extremely helpful to myself and extremely helpful to other people who are opening themselves to work with the energy and use the energy. So what else do I want to tell y'all? If you're feeling healing in these, please give them a heart, give them a like, give them a share. You know, share this with someone who needs to fill their cup with vitality. Share this with someone who you know is empathic and could use some support around that. I know all the empaths and sensitives are out there probably in hiding. <laughs> or not. Who knows? So, please, that would help me out. Share the energy with more people. Is Reiki still new? Reiki is still, like you know, coming to be understood, coming to be shared, coming coming on this platform, coming on, you know, different social media platforms. And, you know, it really helps to share the energy right now at this moment in time. So, how am I? How am I? Hello, Checo820717 and Freedom with Sue. Hello, welcome, aloha, friends. Y'all know I put this on my IGTV at Joyful Raw Life. All all 30 days will be there, except day two, I think. That's on my YouTube channel. They're all also on my YouTube channel, Taylor A. Norris. I will link now also and pin it to my classes and my sessions. So y'all can see that if you do want to go deeper. Again, online, anywhere in the world. That's what's so beautiful about it. Oh, what the heck? Did I forget to turn my light on here? Or did the lights go out? No, the lights are still on. Okay, y'all, it's been like earthquakes in Hawaii here. So you never really know what's happening. Maybe y'all are feeling that too. Maybe y'all are feeling that that sense of um, intensity right now. Hello, Roma Chad O and Rob Allender. Y'all, welcome today is Reiki for impasse and like yeah like how are y'all feeling I would love to know if y'all are feeling intensity if y'all are feeling a lot of feelings right now I know 
I've been experiencing a lot of emotions, just like really, really strong um, waves of emotions, a lot of emotional intensity happening. And it seems like other sensitives that I'm talking to are feeling the same and you know we're all in our own processes of of navigating those waters the emotional waters right now and I just want to commend you too like if you are feeling a lot of intensity right now if you are feeling a lot of feelings all of the feelings like you're brave you're brave for feeling them like go you for being you know sensitive enough to allow yourself that experience of feeling and um, also, like, be gentle with yourself as you are allowing those energies to move through you. Castellander says, I've been feeling super sensitive, very emotional, crying easily. Yes, this has been, um, other people are sharing the same with me, that they're crying a lot. And, um, yeah, it's intense, y'all. I've, I'm not really, like, a big crier. Um, I just never have been. It would probably be to my benefit to like cry <laughs> sometimes, but I really don't cry that often. Um, but I have been feeling those waves of sadness, those waves of despair and, you know, loneliness, these kinds of things and just a lot of, a lot of intensity right now. Hello, woman of a thousand years. That's a cool cool name y'all welcome so reiki reiki is this wonderful tool right now you know if we're allowing ourselves permission to feel um that is great you're brave for doing that like we need we need to be doing that you know and the sensitives the the empaths are getting hit hard right now and y'all like stay in the game this is a long game this is a long game um one of the things that's really help me I share this in my stories like if it's just feeling really way too intense what I like to do is I go outside I go refresh myself in nature I like to go for walks too that starts getting the endorphins going but being outside in nature helps so much getting to watch the ocean you know watching looking at a flower just even being barefoot on the grass, admiring a bird, you know, connecting with a tree, whatever it is, nature is just perpetually offering this healing, this cleansing, this purification, this this energy exchange. You know, this is also a time to be using, if you have any energy clearing techniques, um, to be using those. I teach some of those in my Reiki 1 and 2, as well as in Reiki Master, there are specific energy clearing techniques which are my bread and butter I actually don't eat bread and butter they're my 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 lettuce and tomatoes like I'm eating them every day I'm doing my energy clearing techniques every single day and that is essential so refresh yourself in nature use any any energy clearing techniques that you may already know if you don't know any learn some <laughs> and try them out see what happens um a couple months ago i taught one of the energy clearing techniques to a 16 year old he was shocked like his mind was blown his mind was blown he could feel it he could feel it It was probably it was like the first like energy type like thing you know he had ever tried before you know not not like a spiritual guy or any, clearly a sensitive guy but not completely um I guess allowing that sensitivity or not yet a master of his sensitivity not that we ever truly master it uh, but it was really cool to see a 16 year old boy who had never tried anything like that try an energy clearing technique and like it worked for him and he, he was like his face y'all was so funny he was like <laughs> So they work. They definitely work. Um, that's a great thing to do. Another good thing to do is just start with the gratitude. Start with the gratitude. Your gratitude list, you know, can be really basic. You know, that you're able to see or hear if those are available to you. Any of your senses, thankful for being able to touch. You know, thankful for the heart beating. Thankful for the breath breathing. 
thankful for you know the skin protecting what's inside of you for your bones for like being there and you know providing a structure for your body um anything anything like that you have clean water that you know you have light that you have the ability to you know turn on a light for example or you have a bed to sleep in like really simple that your floor is done you know you have a floor you're not like you you don't have to be on the ground you know <laughs> you have a roof over your head whatever you have an internet connection you're able to watch this you have wi -Fi. you have a phone you have some kind of device to be looking at so it can be really simple and basic and that I use that a lot. I just start spouting off gratitudes. I'm grateful and thankful for X, Y, Z. Keep going, keep going. And it shifts things. It shifts things pretty immediately. And um, those are just really my lettuce and tomatoes and cucumbers. Really simple, really basic. Like, that's what I go to. That's what I use. Um, Reiki is just another phenomenal tool in the toolkit like I said it has the energy clearing techniques but also what it's really done for me is it's changed my awareness um, it's changed my awareness so that I can notice those feelings of deep sadness or despair or anger whatever and there's more space in the noticing you know there's more there's more objectivity there's more is this mine you know what is this? Is this maybe something larger I'm tapping into, something more in the collective? And what I find when I'm feeling into that is usually very often it's not mine. It's something I'm noticing that's much larger. Um, and and then uh, sometimes it is mine. Hello, welcome Calvin Wa and William Farron. Welcome, friends. But yeah, as an empath, as a sensitive, you know, in the past, I used to just identify with the feeling I'd attach to it. You know, that's what you're taught to do. If, if like, like I was exhibiting symptoms of depression or whatever, like you're, you're told, okay, you need to go to the therapist's office. What does the therapist do? They're, they're asking you, okay, why are you feeling that way? You know, tell me more about it. And they're, you know, I don't want to like diss on psychotherapy, but like often we're encouraged to, you know, find a reason why you're feeling this way or find a reason why, like, what's the story that's causing the, the feeling, you know, and that can be helpful to become aware of the story and release the story. But often it's like, in creating, you know, finding that story, we then like attach to it more and like the emotion stagnates even more. So, hello, welcome, Janie Crusine and Alice Rowe. Sorry if I mispronounce your names here. Welcome, I'm happy to have you. Uh, but yeah, what I notice when I'm feeling things, you know, very often they're not they're not my not my emotions sometimes it is sometimes it's like a valid feeling that you know I need to pay attention to because then okay I need to make this certain change this one keeps coming up the intensity is very strong it does seem to apply what change can I make um, what is it trying to have me look at what is this you know healing message for me but many many times y'all it's not mine. <laughs> it's not mine. And this is wonderful news because then it's like, okay, I can just send Reiki. I can just activate Reiki and send Reiki because if I'm feeling this, you know, complete despair, or sadness or whatever, that means like the collective is really struggling right now, is really needing some, some extra love and light, some extra good vibes, some, you know, some peaceful feelings, some harmonious feelings these kinds of things so that's that's what I do you know that self-care is so important go go be in nature energetically cleanse myself do gratitude activate Reiki send Reiki to the source of the sadness the source of the anger 
that kind of thing and instead of really identifying with it attaching to the feeling getting stuck in it that kind of thing I can move it you know I can let it move through me because the the feelings you know maybe you've heard emotion is energy in motion so allow it to be in motion you know allow it to just flow through allow oh there it is and you know feel 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 and then it keeps going and in that that process is allowed to happen when it's not like you know oh like I feel so sad why do I feel so sad oh my god I feel so sad I feel so sad oh my god now I'm pissed that I feel so sad like oh I'm like anxious that I feel so sad I'm like worried about why do I feel so sad it's like what's the sadness about oh my god oh my god is it this is it that is it that I'm doing this wrong oh I feel so I don't want to do anything I'm not going to do anything I'm just going to do nothing and then it's like that that emotion it's just it's You know, it it takes a whole lot longer to move through. You know, people get stuck in this, like, four years, you know. I've been stuck in certain patterns, you know, depressive patterns for years. So, like, I say this with compassion and empathy. And I also say this with, like... I'm not perfect at this either. You know, I'm I'm learning it. Reiki significantly helped me, you know, become aware of this and and to allow the energy to move, but it is a constant daily practice. And you know, those old patterns, unhealthy patterns, you know, getting stuck in things, you know, they they do continuously come up, but the Reiki really helps me keep moving helping, empowering me to make different choices, better choices, more expansive choices, more conscious choices, um, choices that are, you know, better for the long term, the long game, uh, choices that are not self-sabotaging, because, you know, when I choose self-sabotage, we talk about that on a different day, you know, it's only really hurting yourself, unfortunately, you know, it might give some short-term relief, but long term it's just it's it's hurting you know it's lowering the vibration it's weakening you know the immune system causing physical illness symptoms pain causing anxiety feelings of low so forth you know it gets into a whole spiral so that's one thing I wanted to share with y'all about Reiki for impasse is significantly significantly help and allow me to just like be more aware of my feelings and not not just be like oh like gotta shut them off like there there I am again you know like feeling this thing it's it's like a more non-judgmental objective process and like a, okay let me just let me just move it let me just move it so I wanted to share about that what do y'all think about that Any thoughts, any questions? Dead silence. Cool, cool, cool. Y'all know any question is not too stupid. You know, you're welcome. (laughs) You're welcome. Your basic questions are good. Um... I wanted to also say, like, how Reiki works, how a healing session works, too. What I love so much about it is that, you know, when I do a session with someone or even on myself, it's not my limited, finite energy that I'm using to produce a healing. In fact, when my personal energy gets involved, you know, in a client session or, you know, I really like want this thing too bad, I'm like too attached to it, it will, it will reduce the quality of, of the healing, it will reduce the the quality the frequency of the manifestation um it gets in the way you know when my personal energy or ego gets involved usually reiki will show me you know pretty quickly and it's like stand down stand down like hey stand down like we got this we got this so um that's that's really nice too that um you know, feeling drained or something like that, that's an indication, oh, I need to get my ego out of this, oh, I need to get my personal energy out of this, you know, why does this thing feel so hard, oh, I'm like, yeah, again, with the emotions, you know, I'm too attached to it, or my personal energy and ego are too tied up in it, I need to, you know, loosen my grip a little bit, you know, relax my hand a bit, if I'm, 
you know, it'll say this is what I want. I'm holding, I'm holding so tightly. But but it'll stay, the crystal will stay in my hand if it, you know. I have a little bit more little more space there. Yeah. It's a really, really wonderful quality of Reiki energy. And a really a really big lesson again that feeds into what I was talking about earlier is by working with Reiki, I'm able to see when am I only using Reiki energy, when is my energy involved, um, and then that, again, that distinction, that discernment has then transferred over, translated over into the same with emotions. Oh, like I'm noticing this anger, is this anger mine? Am I really, you know, super pissed off at this aunt? Or, or or is it not about that at all and I'm tapping into something much bigger than myself? Hello, welcome, inner healing for you. Great handle, Aluna Dance Temple. Hello, welcome, friends. Yes, so Reiki, Reiki is my number one tool for being an empath, being a sensitive. It's been a game changer and turned, you know, is still in this process of turning sensitivities and emotional sensitivity, sensory sensitivity into the superpowers that they are. And um, yeah, it's pretty fun, fun process to, to be in. So, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, there are techniques too for for helping this. One that I will use today, actually, I'm going to try this on for size because I've never done this particular technique for when I go into the invocation to really make sure my limited energy is not in the mix. My ego is not in the mix. It's not like, oh, I want this healing so bad for you guys, you know, and so I'm blocking it because <laughs> that can happen, right? As we do, like as empaths, a lot of times light workers sensitive, like we really want to help people. And sometimes that that can like miss mess things up that can like block the grace from being delivered you know it can block the healing from from going so or cloud it obstruct it lower the vibration of it that kind of thing uh so there are some fail safes against that happening which i will use today so y'all get the max max benefits hey b welcome beautiful Another thing, yeah, so today's Reiki for empaths is also fill your cup with vitality. It was funny. Yesterday when I was giving the invocation, the, the image I kept seeing was just like empty cups. <laughs> it was like, like beggars with empty cups. And I was like, oh my God, does that mean my cups? Have, like, what is this? And I had to like sleep on it, reflect on it, pray on it. And I was like, oh no, that's just like, that's how a lot of people are feeling right now is that people are feeling again with the discernment. Is it mine? Is it me? Is it someone else? Like we're, cause we all are one and <laughs> like, thank God for the bodies. It kind of helps, helps things out a bit, but when you're sensitive, it can get a little confusing. So, um, yeah, today we're going to be filling the cups with vitality because I, my, my sense is that people are feeling drained. People are feeling tired. People are feeling, you know, a bit frayed, a bit sensory overload, a bit frayed, a little bit like, you know, adrenal fatigue, burnout, burnout type energy. Uh, maybe working too hard, worrying too hard, stressing too hard, doing whatever it is that you do um, in in excess, maybe not sleeping well or, or just feeling like so much that it's exhausting, right? And there's so many different ways uh, we can become exhausted. So let us fill our cups today with vitality because vitality is is such the essence of you know life force energy and immunity right immunity i'm probably like not supposed to say that right now like shh, you can you can have some <laughs> vitality feeling alive feeling healthy feeling uh like you have enough energy even if you're choosing to be on the couch or sit or relax or meditate and you're not doing much physically but to still have that that sense of vitality, that sense of life force energy and and health, you know. 
it's important for us to be healthy like that. And I think it's our true nature. So we're just really getting back to that. It's like every day we're here. What's a different route back to that true nature? <laughs> How many different ways can we do it? Infinitely many. And each way, each little method too, it's like, it's like, okay, addressing the healing from this angle, addressing the awakening from this angle, and each little, each different like angle, it all, it's, it's, you know, reaching towards that, that completion, you know, reaching towards that, that sense of wholeness that we're all always striving for too and it's an eternal process pretty cool process hello dragon fruit smoothies i love dragon fruit karuna unity official welcome friends we are just about to move into our reiki invocation now so i will invite you to take a comfortable seat adjust your body i'll try not to knock the table over <laughs> Take a comfortable seat. You can be sitting up with your your back unsupported in a nice meditation posture posture, or you could be seated comfortably in a chair with your feet on the ground, perhaps that feels good, back supported or unsupported. Alternatively, you can also lay down and get really, really comfortable on your back or whatever feels good to you. And begin to take some deep breaths now. Maybe your first conscious deep breath of the day. And now I would like to pray and ask that my ego and my limited personal energy be set aside so that they aren't involved in this healing, in this invocation, in this guided meditation, and that only the pure light of Reiki flows through me. I surrender completely to the pure light of Reiki. I surrender completely to the pure light of Reiki. I surrender completely to the pure light of Reiki. And continue with those deep breaths, noticing the space around your body and allow the space around your body to be filled with the light of Reiki to be filled with white light white light surrounds you completely surrounds you there's white light above you white light below you and white light on all sides of you you are enveloped in the light of Reiki. And breathe in now. The white light, the pure light of Reiki flows in on your breath. The white light, the pure light of Reiki fills your body. Fills all the nooks and crannies and corners and spaces and spaces in between spaces of your body. You are filled with life force energy. You're filled with prana. You're filled with chi. You are filled with ki. You are filled with Reiki. Breathe in now. The power of love flows in on your breath. And it fills all the spaces of your body. 
the power of love is within you and around you, above you, below you. The power of love is in, on all sides of you, surrounding you, enveloping you in its power, in this eternal glory, in this magic and majesty of pure love, divine love, holy love, unconditional, limitless love surrounds you and is within you too. It's within your heart, within your mind, within your body. Breathe in now. The light of the divine mind flows in on your breath and it wakes up your divine mind, your intuition, your higher intellect, your instincts, your imagination, your knowledge, your access to the wisdom of past, present, and future is awake, is available, is accessible to you. Your mental mastery, your strong mind, your mental discipline is awakened. Your discernment is awakened. Your clear seeing is awakened and the light of the divine mind shines its light into your mind and your mind shines its light out all around you illuminating all the thoughts all the beliefs all the attitudes about yourself, others, and the world. Any and all of these that are causing pain, causing problems, and are not ultimately for the highest good of all. These are released into the light, lifted into the light. No longer a burden for you no longer something circulating around you. You are free, your mind is free. Inhale now, breathe in. The light of the divine heart, the pure heart, the origin of all is pure consciousness. And the pure consciousness shines its light into all the spaces around you and within you, shining and activating your pure heart, your divine heart, your connection to your own purity, your own innocence, reminding you that you are pure, you are innocent. And you can think and act and feel from this space of your innocence. You can access this within your heart. Your access is granted. Your access is awakened. And the light of your pure heart shines in front of you, behind you, on all sides of you. And it shines far and wide across time and space, illuminating anything less than light in your past, present, and future. Shining its healing light where light is needed to shine. Your pure heart knows that you are where you need to be. 
your pure heart remembers who you truly are. Your pure heart empowers and ignites the fire of your authentic self. Breathe in now, inviting the light of the earth to rise within you, around you, refreshing you with your vital true nature, refreshing you, refreshing your root chakra, your root, your connection to the earth, refreshing its brilliant red, your brilliant red light. And the light of the earth rises, lighting up your sacral chakra. Filling you, filling you with the waters of vitality. The waters of vitality rain down upon you. The waters of vitality fill your root, your sacral chakra, your solar plexus, waking up the colors as they fill each and every space within you. Your brilliant golden solar plexus, your brilliant vivid green heart, your luminous blue throat chakra, your piercing indigo third eye and your sparkling violet white crown. Receive now through your crown your vitality. Allow the waters of vitality to flow into your crown and fill you up, filling up, waking up, bathing all of the spaces within your body, cleansing, purifying, and washing off anything inside you, anything outside you that's less than light or less than love. These vital waters can carry these forms, these energies where they need to go, where they will serve love once again. Rest easy now in the waters of vitality floating here in this luminous pool of all your colors, all the colors all the colors of the rainbow surround you and are within you as you float suspended in the waters of vitality. Be porous to allow them in. Be porous and allow the colors within you to shine and flow as you breathe in, as you breathe out. You breathe in vitality, you breathe out vitality. These vital waters are within you. These vital waters are around you. 
reminding you of your purity, reminding you of your connection to the limitless, to the infinite, reminding you, you remember, you are connected to the divine right here, right now, in your human body, at this moment in time. You are always connected to the limitless, infinite pool of vitality. You don't have to go anywhere. Your connection is within you. Your vitality is refreshed. Your vitality is restored. Your vitality is fortified. Your vitality is protected and connected. And you have more than enough. You have so much that you can now share your vitality in a beautiful and balanced way as you connect and engage with others and as you connect and engage in the world around you. You are full of vitality. Remember that this peaceful feeling, this feeling of fullness is available within you always. You can go here anytime you need. Thank you, Reiki, for reminding us and showing us where we can go to feel and fill our vitality once again. Thank you for filling our cups. Thank you to you for being a part of this healing, for being open, for being receptive for holding space for yourself to engage and interact with these higher vibrations. Thank you to the ancestors, the ones who came before us, the descendants, the ones who will come after us, all the physical and non-physical beings that allowed all of our vitality to be replenished today. Thank you for helping us always to navigate these emotional times, these stormy seas. Thank you for supporting us and loving us and reminding us to support and love ourselves, others, and the world. Because that is what is for the highest good of all. Aho, amen, namaste, and so it is. As a child of God, I claim my power and purpose as a servant of God. 
demand that all darkness leave me and all who are present immediately. Into the light be healed. Into the light be healed. Into the light be healed. I ask that Archangel Michael place me and all who are present in his blue bubble of protection, especially for empaths against all darkness. Thank you. Y'all may continue with this experience for as long as you like. Hope you all feel good and full and vital, strong. And I will be back again, hopefully tomorrow, God willing. Please share this. If you're feeling some healing, give it a heart. Allow others to fill their cups too. That really helps get Reiki out there. So Reiki would like some help with that. <laughs> Me too. If you want to go deeper, please feel free to reach out with me. I offer private sessions and I have classes coming up. I would love to be the, the go-between, the connector to you and this energy so that you have this energy within you at all times, very awake and alive and activated so that you can receive the benefits that I'm receiving and who knows what else. So it's infinite. Much love. Y'all have a beautiful, beautiful day, beautiful evening. I appreciate you.